Oh, I heard something. Oh my god! Oh my god! Open the door! 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 With a game more popular than Call of Duty with over 100,000 active players at any given time, this is the story of the solo Roblox developer Zekas who made this all possible. It's November the 29th, 2011, and a player named Zekas has just joined the Roblox platform at just 8 years old. The following year, on May the 30th, 2012, he creates his second ever Roblox video, the oldest public one, on his YouTube channel being a Roblox skit video in which were very popular at the time. Roblox and gameplay videos continued until he released his first staple in his career. He uploaded a trailer for his first thriller game on the Roblox platform titled Dark Mansion, but surely this amateur Roblox game developer wouldn't go on to create one of the biggest games of 2023, right guys? Well, for the following years, Zekas continued to make games such as The Dark Mansion 2, in which he would eventually shut down, as well as Demise, in which he closed down as the game ultimately failed. However, 2014 was a new year, and surely his consistency, passion, and mindset with game designing would eventually pay off, right? Well, indeed, 2014 started off large with Zika's releasing games such as Contrast in late January, being a 2D explorer game utilizing black and white coloration, followed by Breach in February, in which Zika stated was inspired by SCP Security Breach, with him claiming that this was the first proper horror game he developed. Oh, oh my actually scared me, what the hell? Wait, how do I get out? Ugh! Oh my- His game creation continues throughout the months of 2014 with Lucid Dream in April and with Rigido in November, both following the same pattern of 2D single-player side-scroller adventure-style Roblox games. Lucid Dream's following a more colorful approach and Rigido following dark and more macabre approach, of you basically following a mysterious dark figure through ominous terrain. Eventually, Lucid Dreams was even nominated for the Best Single Player and Best Art Direction game in 2015. 2014 ends with Zekas creating another game called Doodle, and going into 2015, the year starts off with the release of a game called They Breathe, followed by the psychological horror game called Lightbulb, in which amassed over 2.5 million visits, and then Silent Dark in 2016, amassing over 5.4 million visits, and actually being nominated for the best single player game in the 2016 Bloxy Awards. These two games being eventually what defines Zekas' Roblox development on the platform, being basically well respected for the lore the games provided, the voice acting, as well as the effort spilled into designing the maps. However, eventually Zika's attention moved away from the Roblox platform and more into game development on itch.io in October, with him voicing in 2016 that, I think one of the main things keeping me from wanting to make more games in Roblox is that they'd eventually all break because of updates. And then states in another tweet, Silent Dark is broken like five times, all because of updates and I keep having to fix it. I think a Lucid Dreams ending is broken too. Zekas would continue with game development on itch.io, releasing too many asteroids. After this, he slowed down his development of games for a while, further voicing his frustration towards Roblox, and the fact that after every update Roblox churns out, it will slowly break and hinder the playability of the games that developers create, such as his, as we've seen with examples such as Silent Dark, in which is no longer functioning. It was also in 2018 that Zekas also highlighted his fear he has of getting lost in a maze, replying to an Ask Reddit question stating, Everyone fears something, what is your fear? He ultimately states, Getting lost in a maze, for example the Odessa Catacombs, they're a gigantic tunnel labyrinth where people have said to disappear in the past. They go on to state the realization that you are hopelessly lost would sit in gradually, as each wrong turn you make takes you a little further away from the way out and a little deeper into insanity. Like drowning, but horribly prolonged. I truly wonder where this concept would eventually be used for in his future games. In 2020, Zekas would also continue with its itch.io game development by releasing Drive Home, and this was also followed by It Steals, which now uses the retro jank pixelated graphics in which would be replicated later in his soon to be very successful game. It Steals also marked another success in Zekas' career, as many prominent YouTubers covered this game such as Markiplier, and it was even released on Steam. It was also in 2020 after the popularity of a game called Phasmophobia that Zika stated on Reddit that the game should utilize more voice recognition as limited communication is, according to Zika's, one of the scariest elements of the game. 
Hey, you be fucked. Oh, 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 oh. Zeke has highlighted the feeling of loneliness in the game when you're by yourself and the necessity of communication via items such as walkie talkies and proximity chat is certainly something interesting that was beneficial for his phasmophobia gameplay experience with friends and that he would eventually utilize this in the future regarding one of his future games that we'd all come to know. Anyway, 2021 followed with Zika's releasing Dead Seater, which contained even more eldritch creatures being in this game, giving obvious inspiration for him in the future. Upturned also followed in 2022, with the obvious retro jank graphics that would be essential for his upcoming game. 2023 also started with the release of Take Your Wish, and then Zika started teasing in early April a new game that he was working on, announcing gradual updates showing the game's production throughout the year, with it being released in October 2023, the game which we all now know as Lethal Company. Basically, the point of the game is you collect scrap and junk from abandoned moons and avoid everything in the world trying to kill you. And then you sell these items to this tentacle creature looking thing to basically meet with the profit quota or you will be ultimately ejected and killed. Just following a month after its release, and the average concurrent play account of Lethal Company on Steam has skyrocketed to over 100,000 players at mostly any given time, with tons of gameplay videos on YouTube and clips on it basically going viral, only escalating the notoriety to the game even further. It's even reached a point where Zekas, who is the solo developer of the game, has managed to currently outsell Call of Duty, which is insane. Now many people are starting to find out the dark truth about how Zekas is a furry, but like who cares? How does him being a furry detract his creative ability to make games? However, it seems that most people, most intelligent people, seem to be unfazed about it at all. Now back to Lethal Company in general. The game is actually extremely fun to play, especially with a sense of proximity chat. You and your friends could wander into a massive dark maze with seemingly no end and suddenly everything goes silent. You're completely lost and you can't hear anyone else other than the eerie noise and ambiance playing in the background, which the game is very good at utilizing. The sound design definitely adds another aspect of psychological horror to the game, as it makes you wonder if you're truly alone in your environment, and more often than not, you're definitely not alone, and it's extremely ominous to hear the slight mumbling of a friend behind the walls, only to hear them go completely silent suddenly, and for you to hear absolutely nothing. The monster design in the game is truly terrifying too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mods especially make the game extremely engaging as it gives more dangers to overcome in the environment, oh. for example, with mimics basically looking like other players and having the ability to replicate someone's voice clips, which makes it really hard to distinguish whether they're a player or not. There's something inside with you, just get the the graphics too oddly give me some sense of nostalgia and give some unnerving feeling of your surroundings as you're practically in an alien world where you have no idea what your surroundings contain. The seed is also randomly generated so you cannot properly study the frame of the buildings either and the placement of items in it, and the game forever puts you in a feeling of paranoia and oncoming dread. Literally everything in the game which is present is out there to attack you, and the unpredictability of the game certainly makes for some very funny moments. You? Can I go kid? Is that you? Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god. <laughs> now we've seen games utilize the social aspect of playability such as Among Us and Phasmophobia, however something about Lethal Company especially with the use of mods allows for so many funny moments in which only make the gameplay even more engaging. I generally don't think I've had this much fun playing a game in years and this is literally all due to just one ex Roblox game developer who has shown a very large and impressive progression of creating horror, thriller, and adventure games throughout his long tenure online. I'm very excited to see how the game develops, and seeing it with this much positive reception is truly deserved as Zekas has shown tenacity and consistency that not too many other game developers have shown. When Roblox, for example, hindered his older games, he didn't let that stop his creativity, and he simply moved on to other game designing on itch.io instead, utilizing game mechanics he showed interest in to then use in his future games as well as previous game features too. But anyway, that will be all for this video today. Thank you all for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and if you want to see more of this kind of content. And major shout out to Zekas for making Lethal Company and make sure to watch my other videos if you're interested too and I'll see you all in the next video.
Goodbye.